Hey, 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 happy new year, guys. Welcome back to In My Kitchen. Many of you may have ham tucked away in your freezer, just like myself, from over the holidays, and probably wondering what you're going to do with it. Right? As for me, I'm just going to do a key and ham. I'm going to substitute the saltfish and do ham and haki. So please sit back, relax. Eat some popcorn and watch me cook my famous aki and ham. So first you have to clean up the aki. Ensure that you're getting the middle part, the pit of the middle part out because you know we don't want to get poison around here. So ensure that you clean the aki properly and wash it properly. So here we have a pot of boiling water and for this we're going to put salt in the water and then we're going to add um, a little bit of coconut oil just to keep the aki from you know sticking together so now we're going to go ahead and add our aki to the boiling water and we're just going to leave that for about 10 minutes so that it can be cooked um properly so this point we're going to take the aki from the pot you know drain it from the pot so that we don't have none of that water left behind and we're going to put it aside for the next step here we have our scotch bonnet pepper our sweet pepper our onion and here i have two onions red and white onions scallion and thyme and tomato and we also have that ham that I diced up for you and the ackee of course. We also going to use black pepper and some salt. That's all the ingredients you need apart from the coconut oil that I'll be putting into the pot. So the next step is to get your ham and put it in a pot so you can get a little bit crispy because you would like that crunch in that aki. I don't know I like that crunch. So we're just going to fry it for a while so you can get a bit crispy. Can you hear my pot sizzling? You should smell this, like the aroma from the pot is so nice. So I'm just going to continue stirring so that I don't have none of the ham stuck to the bottom of the pot. Now that I have accomplished that texture that I want on the ham, I'm just going to add all of my seasoning together and allow it to simmer for a while so that I can get all that flavoring out into the pot for when the aki is added then the aki can you know suck up all of that flavor and give you that nice um aki seasoning you know i don't know i don't know how to explain to you but it's just a nice flavor differently from just aki and sausage so now i'm just gonna go ahead and add some black pepper to the pot but guys, look at that pot. Doesn't it look like sexy? Look at that deliciousness in one pot. Look at all of those colors. Look at the steam. Like you literally can taste the video. Like look at, just tell me. Look at that deliciousness. Oh my God. Now guys, please remember to like, share and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so whenever I release a new video, you will be the first to know. Thank you guys for watching my video. Please to you know subscribe. Just subscribe. It's not gonna cost you anything. And 
this is like the best part of me cooking the meal where i get to taste my aunt and guys 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 you need to taste it like you literally need to taste it i promise you if you try this you won't be dissatisfied so go on out get yourself some aki and ham and cook yourself some and let me know in the comments down below how it tastes and the shout out for this week is Shauna K. Blake. Woo! So go on over and let her know that I shout her out. But look at that sexiness. Bye guys.